This is Fisher. You know him. Probably. Made it. I drove around this whole parking lot twice to what? find this place. <laughs> What's up everybody, today we are at Unforked. Unforked. Oh, really enjoyable place, kind of a, a, a hipster take on everything. Everything they make here is super fresh, it looks like. Uh, crafted unwitches, like burgers, then they've got all sorts of different sides, like cool fries, salads, concretes, and everything like that. Cool thing about those concretes, all of their desserts that are like ice cream or custard based, it's all tied to shared it. So let's check out some of the food here. I'm super excited to try it. Mellow Jello frozen lemonade. That's what you're getting? Strawberry Jello, fresh squeezed lemon juice blended with ice. Oh my gosh. This is the tie dye burger. It's got grilled marinated portobello mushroom. That's like the burger portion. Topped with Thai sweet chili, roasted Brussels sprouts, and melted mozzarella. And it all comes on a toasted egg bun. That sounds incredible. That sounds so good to me. I almost spilled all of my fries on my lap. These are the truffle fries. These are golden brown skin on Kennebec potatoes. They're hand cut, they're fried, and then they're sprinkled with pure ocean sea salt and parsley. Here's what I got. These are fundido fries. Look at how beautiful they are. We already ate like some of them, but it has uh, applewood bacon kind of sprinkled on it. Cheese sauce mixed in. Yeah, it takes some quintessential <laughs> cheese fries, but like upscale fancy. The other thing I got was this egg BLT. Now I also got a pure patty added onto it, which you can see. There's the egg. There's the patty, cheese, applewood, smoked bacon. So I got the citrus crunch chicken taco. It's got chicken, honey, citrus, gu, gu, guillo, guajillo, and then some cheese put on top. So it's gonna be really good. Got a lot of crunch. At this point, I'm gonna get some guajillo. Oh my goodness. It's like really sweet, and uh, you can definitely taste honey, but you can taste like maybe a hint of orange underneath of it. It's really good. Should have gotten more. Explain your sandwich. What do you mean? I mean, it's gone. I ate it. It's great. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, I already ate all my sandwich. It was really good. So fried egg BLT. Delicious fried egg, like fried to perfection. It also had unspread on the buns, which is a delicious sauce, which I don't really know what was in it. It reminds me of like kind of a spicy mayonnaise kind of flavor. Very good. So tasty. Like I was saying earlier, it's not like a, a burger patty. It's a portobello like mushroom cap that's been like spread out all the way. It's actually a vegan burger is what they call it. The, the Thai sweet chili thing that they're talking about is almost like, it almost feels like a coleslaw that's on top of my burger. It's a very earthy burger, what can I say? A lot of vegetables on it, very delicious. I don't know that I would order it again just because I like beef. I, I, I just like beef. If I were to get this again, I probably would add a beef patty to it. So I got the Porto Pure Burger. It's made with Creekstone Farms premium black Angus ground chuck and grilled portobello stacked together with crisp leaf lettuce, sliced tomato, and unspread on a toasted egg bun. You guys are all done, and I haven't even started. This looks great because it looks like there's a, a big mushroom on here and the spread looks amazing. Oh wow. I also got this drink, strawberry jello mixed with what, like lemon ice. Is so it like the boba drinks? Yeah, it's kind of like boba drinks. You know what, I'm, you know what I'm, I'm waiting for? A key lime, concrete, there's like an actual slice of pie that they're gonna mix up into it. And I am excited about that. I'm just waiting for this to start buzzing. A few moments later. 12 seconds later. Eventually, it's key lime pie time. It's super juicy, and actually, I was I was talking to the lady up there. Her name is Janice. Thank you, Janice, for helping us with our food today. This was her recommendation for their crafted unwitches because it's super juicy. When she bit into it for the first time, she thought that it was the juiciest burger she's ever bit into. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's leaking. This is an extremely juicy burger. She's right. I've never had anything like the unspread sauce before. It reminds me of like the spicy mayonnaise that I used to make growing up, which is made out of mayonnaise, cayenne pepper, and cumin, which I don't know if this is anything like it, but it looks exactly like it. So Unforked is actually a franchise that is owned by Sheridan's. So I got the chocolate cookie dough concrete, which is chocolate frozen custard blended with chocolate chunks and chocolate chip cookie dough. That's a lot of chocolate and that's the way I like it. Man, I love it when a place has burgers and concretes in the same building 
Key lime, as many of you know, is my absolute favorite dessert. I love it. It is the pinnacle of human engineering. And this place has engineered a way to make not only their concrete taste like key lime pie, but even the whipped cream up here on top tastes like key lime pie. The slice of key lime pie that they'll just toss in to their concrete mix and just blend that sucker up. Mm. It is so creamy. What'd you get? What'd you get? This is the Kiss My Bunt. It is delicious and rich. You should show It's that. a chocolate bunt cake filled with hot fudge topped with vanilla frozen custard and raspberries. This raspberry mixed with the chocolate and the vanilla is like seriously one of the richest things I think I've ever tasted in my life. So like that right there. Look at that. So good. Mmm. How much was that? This is like, I think it was like five fifty on the menu. This ice cream is um, Sheridan's frozen custard, so. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Come check out Unforked. Tell us in the comments what you thought of it. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and we have our own website, www.willlogforfood.com. We are also found on Patreon. I absolutely adore Patreon. It's a great way for us to get involved with you guys and vice versa. There's tons of rewards out there waiting for you guys. Go check it out. And that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, chill out and, and peace. peace.